Cats don't only choke because they've eaten something they shouldn't. Animal Wise explains the main reasons why your cat is choking and what to do about them. Upper Respiratory Tract Infections These types of infection are characterised as being highly contagious as they can be easily transmitted through secretions. They are common in young kittens but can also affect cats with leukaemia or some type of immunodeficiency. Stressful situations can exacerbate the issue, such as living in a cattery or as the result of a surgical operation or illness. These infections usually result in discharge from the nose and eyes with sneezing, fever, lethargy or weight loss. Loss of appetite is common because their sense of smell is affected and mouth ulcers can make eating difficult. Upper respiratory tract infections can cause the cat to cough with a choking sensation and to leave their tongue hanging out to try to improve respiration. The sooner treatment begins, the better the chance of recovery. If left untreated, these cats can end up dying. It's essential to take the cat to the vet as soon as possible. Feline Asthmatic Syndrome Asthma produces bronchoconstriction that causes laboured breathing, choking or other breathing difficulties. It can also be accompanied by fever, lethargy and anorexia, either due to secondary bacterial infections or due to choking and coughing that make it difficult to ingest both liquids and solids. Treatment will depend on the severity and the frequency of the symptoms and, as always, should be prescribed by the veterinarian. Antibiotics may be necessary to treat secondary bacterial infections. If you enjoy our content at Animal Wised, consider giving a super thanks to help our channel grow. Cough, Vomit and Hairballs Sometimes, intense coughing fits in which the cat seems to be choking can cause vomiting. These episodes should not be confused with retching intended to expel hairballs. For cats, eliminating trapped hair is normal, not pathological. This means it's not a symptom of disease in this case. We can facilitate the expulsion of hairballs by supplying them with products such as malt paste, which helps digestive transit. If our cat is choking and gagging, they retch but do not vomit, or we see that the cat gags when drinking water, we should consult our veterinarian. We share a video above in which we explain how to eliminate hairballs at home. Heat stroke. We know that the normal temperature of cats varies between 38 and 39.2 degrees Celsius, or 100.4 and 102.5 degrees Fahrenheit, so any temperature higher than this puts their health at risk. Although the main cause of heat stroke is prolonged exposure to hot temperatures, poor hydration or locking the cat in a confined space can be contributing factors. If we notice the cat is coughing and choking, they may be suffering from heat stroke. Symptoms are excessive salivation, tremors, staggering and weakness. In this situation, the most important thing is to go to the vet immediately, but it's also good to consider some first aid. For example, we'll have to take them to a cool place and apply cloths with fresh water, among other recommendations. To know what these recommendations are, check out the next info video above. Hypertrophy in cats it is the most common cardiac disease in cats and causes many deficiencies in our cat's circulatory system. Although some of our cats may be asymptomatic, when symptoms of hypertrophy do appear, they can include open mouth breathing, laboured breathing, lack of appetite, apathy, depression and rigid paralysis. In this case, we'll also have to take our cat to the vet so a professional can make a suitable diagnosis. If you want to continue learning about cat diseases and veterinary advice, don't miss the playlist we share here. Do you have an experience of your cat choking that you want to share? Do so in the comments if so, and we'll see you next time.